exploring another little ROC, Royal Observer Corps post from the Cold War and it's got a little Orlick Tower as well. So we're at Hatfield Peveril near Chelmsford in Essex. It's not far away. So found it on Subbrit and on Google Earth thought let's go and check it out. So yeah we've parked the car back at a truck stop there with some dodgy looking truckers and uh yeah we're right by the A12, so it's quite busy. Uh, a bit windy out today, apologies for that. So yeah, let's get exploring. Okay, we've we found the, uh, the ROC post and the audit tower in the middle of this field. We sort of had to run across it to avoid getting spotted. But yeah, here it is. And, uh, the outside the post. Yeah, it's rabbit holes. Uh, so it's permanently open, there's no hatch on it. So you've got your normal bits and stuff on it. Yeah. Usually that bit you only see that above the floor. So a lot higher on this. Um, yeah there's part of it there as well and then you've got the air vent here so it's been completely gutted and yeah and then of course the audit tower so we'll have a look have a look in the uh, post first. Okay we've uh, just found this this electronic equipment outside the ROC post and it's uh, it's bat survey equipment so it says please do not touch okay, the wires. yeah there's wires going down so touch it should be right but there could be bats in there I still want to go down there and have a look at it but let's think about well so it's crossing a road um, we're going to have a look at the audit tower, we know we can get in that, we're not going to stay here long so it's going to be a quick video, okay? What? Oh yeah that's fine, we're in the countryside. Right. Okay, let's just climb up here, I'll do this as quick as possible because I'm in full view of the A12. Oh shit, that's rusted. Oh. Excuse the view. again right so yeah there's no roof on this one on this bit um, that box that was in the Brent Pelham one that uh, turned out to be a flare box apparently so cheers to the, uh, the guy who, who told me that and then yeah they're very small and then you've got those hatches again and look you can see all around the surrounding area so I think they would have used these to spot enemy aircraft or anything like that. I mean, it's it's dated the same era as like the the ROC post, so you know, they're part of the Cold War as well, I believe. Uh, so two blocks again, so they would have had some sort of structure in the middle there, like a platform to mount something on. Um, just don't really know whether it was a uh, for a searchlight or I don't think we would have had a gun on top of it I don't think so but yeah once again if you know let us get in the comments let us know yeah um, but yeah another one of these I think they're pretty cool I always wanted to wild camp in one this could be the one to do it in although I don't know it's pretty noisy the A12 is literally right next to us so anyways we're not going to hang around here too long because you know people could be watching us from the house over there and stuff Anyway, so right, let's go and have another look down at the ROC post. Okay, right, I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna head down there now. Jake's gonna stay up top, keep an army bag, and keep an eye out for anyone. 
got to try and avoid all this back monitoring equipment as well. So, Take the tripod. see how this goes. Yeah, there's like some tripods and stuff down there, so we'll have a look anyway. Heading down now. Ugh. There's a couple right. of, yep, there's a couple of rungs missing on the ladder. Oh, shit. Look down. Yeah, I'm looking. Oh, shit. Stinks down here. Yeah. So there could be bats of bat shit. Stuff. Dead animals. Anyway. Bloody hell. Oh, I can see that. Yep, yeah, hang on. Oh. Yeah, I'm trying to avoid the, the equipment. Right. Okay. This one's been completely gutted, guys. Okay, there is not a lot in here at all. Be quick. Yeah, I'm going to be quick. Right. Okay. So this is what I've climbed down here for. There is uh, not a lot. As you see, there's like cables and old tripods and, as I say, there monitoring the bats and stuff there's your uh where the car seat would have been a little chemical toilet and a storage room um, i'm trying not to get tangled up in these cables here there's just a ton of rubble um, there's not a lot left in here really uh yeah someone's left a memorial to the, the uh there's a poppy like stuck in the thing i'm gonna try and Go over this. Uh. Oh, blimey. Oop. But yeah, they've uh, they've gutted this one. There's the door, the original door. There's the air vent which has been blocked up with concrete. Uh, that's definitely not working now. And then you've got, as I say, like where all the nuclear bomb monitoring equipment on the surface would have come down and onto this table here you'd have all the equipment as usual that looks like that could be an original bit of board on the wall maybe a notice board with like the posters of all the different planes to spot but yeah not a lot here this is probably the most derelict one of the lot there's there's the counterweight for the hatch see that big metal thing there that would have been the counterweight yeah a lot of it's just been stripped and chucked down here so yeah not in the best condition this one but felt the need to check it out anyway it's got a horrible smell <coughs> in here so yeah Oh, and there's the hatch as well. Oh, the tripods have got stuff tied up to them, so it's the back monitoring equipment. I'm not going to touch it. Oh. Yeah, I was thinking I could get myself a tripod, but nah, I'm not going to. Yeah, there's the old hatch. And uh, these would have been the old fence posts going around the compound of the site. So, yeah, it's uh, seen better days anyway. Um, I'll link the uh, the subreddit record of this one to my video in a little bit down below. Yeah. Anyway, so yeah, I think that's about it really. So not a lot to see. It's definitely seen better days. Right. And then oh, I'm trying to I'm trying not to touch the equipment, but it's kind of difficult. And then I'll show you the hatch Hello. <laughs> Jake's up there up to the surface so that's where we're going to go now right see you in a bit all right so that was a quick little look inside Hatfield Peveril ROC post and it's Orlick Tower as well all from the Cold War so as I say I'll link details in the description below um, yeah thanks very much for watching cheers for the support we're going to get out of here now because we're seeing a few cars going along the little slip road. Yeah. Anyways, cheers for watching. See you later. Bye.